Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And whenever the Obi Wan series comes to Disney Plus, he's gonna have some help. Yeah. He's gonna have a whole lot of women. That's helping right. Him. So he's basically not he's not the lead in his own show. Uh, no, I think this is gonna be like Obi's Angels. Obi's Angels. <laughs> I think we're gonna call Obi's Angels because uh, okay. they're they're talking. He's going to have a female co-lead and at least two other female characters. So let me get this straight. It's the Obi Wan TV series, but it's Obi Wan and a female co-lead. Yes. So how long does they change it? That's not Obi Wan now. It's gonna be called something different. Um. Because yeah. it's a female co-lead, then the other leads are females. Yeah, I'm sure she's gonna be training him. Because that's usually how these these things work, right? Even uh, though he's already a Jedi Master, but yeah, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. So the show is is uh, being rewritten or retconned or whatever by Kathleen Kennedy. We're gonna talk about the problems. Oh, this is Kathleen Kennedy again? She's involved in this one. Yes. Oh God, then we already know where it's gonna go. And uh, now, Just stop, Kathy, stop. The only saving grace is Deborah Chow's on board to direct it. Oh no, so that's true. And I like Deborah Chow, so we might. Have, I, I do have faith in Deborah Chow. I have faith. You I don't have any faith in Kathleen Kennedy, but I do have some faith in Deborah Chow. Yeah, more proof that I think she's not going anywhere. Now, this is of course a rumor. We're going to talk about this rumor where it came from. Well, if it is true, I don't um, think it was Ka it was her, it was Chow's idea. No, because this show's been sidelined a couple of times now. Mm -hmm. And they've I, rewritten it a couple of times. Yeah, probably to include more women. But it was like it was like always like creative differences. Yeah. Yep. Creative differences. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 150,000 subs, hoping for 200,000 soon. Thank you for the support, and check it out at shopclownfish.com. Uh, we are having a Black Friday sale. Yeah, apparently we are. We don't run this. We don't run. We don't even run our own <laughs> store. Like, wow, look at you! We didn't look, even we're know. on sale. We didn't even know. So, uh, yeah. yeah, but look, you can get some stuff. Some of the hoodies are on sale. We've yeah. got a very limited supply of these uh, Clownfish TV pins. We are taking pre-orders for the uh, the new pins. Oh, Geeky with Battle Pink, Brush. Pinky Boo got the Suck a Peach sweatshirt and she wears like as soon as I wash it, she oh, yeah, has it she on loves, again because that's her catchphrase. She loves Suck a so Peach. So she has it on like as soon as, I, as soon as it's washed, she has it back on again. It's on sale. There you go. All right, guys. So let's talk about this. Now, I got to give a hat tip to Ichi Baka who sent me uh, a link to this. That this is a rumor, this is a rumor uh, coming from the Illuminati that the Obi. <laughs> I love that name. The Illuminati. It makes me happy. Anyway, continue. That the Obi Wan TV series ramps up casting for mysterious co lead in three supporting roles. Uh, this is exclusive, but the characters are uh, mostly female. Okay, but there is a, there is another dude. Yeah, but he's... Oh my god, that's actually what's listed as yes. has to by P by POC Latinx. Oh, that is actually listed as that. Yes. This is supposedly from the casting call. So wait, none of them are, are allowed to be white? Uh, no, except for Harold. The, the comic the, relief idiot. The comic relief idiot, which that is the most Star Wars name ever. Harold. Harold from Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Okay, Harold. Uh, so here are the, the here's who they're trying to cast. Riley, a.k.a. Eve, female, co-lead, female, by POC, whose character details are being kept under wraps. Uh, Tia, female, 30, supporting character, by POC. Bella, female, 40, supporting character, Latinx. Are you serious? This is supposedly, supposedly, allegedly, maybe possibly, from the casting call. This is who they're looking for. So how, I'm trying to see how is, uh, I don't know. I'm like, how is this diverse? Okay, go ahead. It's safe to say the character names are likely placeholders. I would say. I hope Harold <laughs> is a placeholder name. Is a placeholder. Well, Harold. Harold's going to be the quirky comic comedic male, which means he's going to be a white guy so they can make fun of him. Guaranteed. That's so Harold. Actually, what they need to do is get uh, Dex in there from episode two. You know, sloppy, sloppy forearmed oh, yes, chef. Yes. That would be that would be kind of funny. Um, the Obi Wan series is primed to introduce a very diverse cast to this long awaited project. We're going to talk about the problems. Now, here's who's in the running. Right now. Uh, actually, Naomi Scott, who is Jasmine in Aladdin, is the top contender, supposedly, mm -hmm. allegedly. Uh, and she might be the co-lead. And she was also Kimberly in the Power Rangers right, movie. Right, right, right. So she might uh, she might be a good choice. They were I remember they were complaining about her not being not being ethnic enough, though. They were for the Aladdin film. They for were Aladdin, she wasn't, they said, she wasn't yeah. ethnic enough, yes. Yeah, she wasn't ethnic enough. Ironically enough... Ironically enough, she was also in Charlie's Angels. So she'd be perfect for uh, Obi's Obi, Angels. Obi's Angels. Yeah. Obi's Angels. That's why I'm gonna call a video. Obi's Angels. <laughs> okay, Obi's Angels. They'll just—they won't even show Obi Wan. 
He'll just he'll just have like a he'll hollow do the voice. Yeah, he'll have a hologram pop up. Yeah, be like, well, hello there. You know, hey, angels, throw, we got a mission for you. We got a mission for you. <laughs> All right. Uh, then this is I cannot pronounce her name. Uh, uh, Thuso Bedu is a South African actress who was nominated for an international Emmy. Um, I think which, she's cute. Yeah. I think she's, she's really cute. I like she's her. Happy. She looks cute. She's happy. That's okay. Disney Star Wars will break her of that. Probably. Uh, she'll go in smiling, and then she's going to come I'm out. I'm not just... familiar with her at all as an actress, but she's. I think she's adorable. Anyway. She, she Yeah. So I, I don't know who she is. Um, and then uh, Anula uh, Navlakar. We can't pronounce your name, so I'm, I'm really sorry. Because I'm sure they're watching this video. Yes, I'm sure. But if I'm you sure are, they we are. apologize because we do not know how to say your names. Uh, but anyway. So what they're what they're uh, talking about is yeah Obi Wan's gonna constantly have a female uh, co lead I can't call her a sidekick a female co lead and then we're gonna have um, you know possibly two more ladies and then Harold. <laughs> Sorry, Harold. Harold. I, I'm sure those aren't gonna be their names. Though. I, I hope I, I'm not. sure they're not. Uh, they said the security is airtight. Obi Wan Kenobi has a well documented past connection with the Mandalorians. And uh, Duchess Satine, so perhaps another Mandalorian war- warrior given the success of the Mandalorian. Or maybe Riley is a Jedi survivor of Order 66 who finds Obi-Wan and probably winds up dead before Episode 4. You know, it's gonna- have to be because otherwise, it's, you know, that undoes everything. Oh, but it's Disney. And it doesn't They're going to undo everything. Because see, here's what I thought happened. Because you can't kill them. You'll get in trouble for that. Yeah, but what I thought happened was Obi-Wan went to Tatooine and he sat his ass down for about 20 years mm-hmm. on Tatooine and really didn't do much of anything because just kept an eye on Luke just kept an eye on Luke and I thought stupidly mm. stupidly I thought this series would be about Obi-Wan overseeing young Luke but that's too masculine there's too many right. men it makes too much sense for the actual you know, you know story that was Star Wars so we have to change that uh, I thought he would maybe there'd be some past conflict with Owen Uncle Owen because that would actually make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, no, this we're getting is, Harold. We're getting Harold. <laughs> so. Harold instead. Obi Wan and Harold. Oh my God, that sounds like a. That'd be a show. I'd watch that show. Obi Wan and Harold. Harold. Yes. Obi Wan and Harold. I'd watch uh, Obi's Angels too. Go to Jabba's castle. <laughs> Obi Wan <and> Harold. <laughs> I mean. Oh my God. Um, palace but anyway yes uh, yeah i mean i I don't know i don't know (laughs) (laughs) that would be hilarious harold and obi-wan then i just want to see obi-wan jabba's Jabba's castle and some dumbass named harold just tooling around tatooine (laughs) getting high whatever the hell they do you know what will you do for 20 years you're just hanging out uh, you know, trying to make sure that the uh, the Empire doesn't have access to a galactic telephone book, you know, to look up the Skywalkers uh-huh. in the phone yeah, book. Yeah, I know. They just happen to be hiding and no one knows. You know, or Kenobi's. Uh, but, yeah. um, so it's six episodes and it's a limited series. But uh, yes, it's going to be produced by Kathleen Kennedy. So you know exactly what kind of fucking shit show. Sorry, Mom. We're going to be getting with this, with this show. I mean, there's no question. They already had it. They had scripts and they scrapped them because it wasn't going in the right direction, according to KK. So, which means it has to be the force is female. So we're getting we're getting this. And I don't think even though I loved I like Deborah Chow, I don't think she's going to get much of a say. She's just allowed to be the director, but she's not allowed to be you know creatively behind this. This is KK's thing. KK, yeah, I could just see her being like, you know, shoot my movies. Yeah. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Do not pass go. Make sure the men fetch coffee. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be like they tried to do in the comics where Luke had some like secret female Jedi master in between movies. Right, right, right. But, but the thing is, the more they do this, the more the fans are pissed and don't like it. So they're let's just double down and do more shit that no one's gonna like. You just keep doing it, Disney. Yeah, this is yeah. So anyway, this has been rumored for a while that there was behind the scenes drama. Oh, we knew that. Yes. Uh, you know, production delays. We knew that. Um, they're blaming on Ian McGregor. I don't. Ian I don't. McGregor didn't seem like he was the one that was responsible for it. When they talked to him, he he was saying it was other stuff. No, it's probably yeah. He said about the the writing. It's probably they turned the scripts in. They got rid of the one guy that was writing guy that was writing. Is it a it. woman that's writing it now? I think so. Are you serious? I'm not 100. I did sure a story on it before, but I cannot remember. It's been a while. 
because uh, um, there's so much that goes on that it's, it gets different shit every day. It, it, it all blends together eventually, and I don't remember. I know they had a change in. Um, I know they, the 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 writer changed. Yeah, so Tony Gilroy, who was brought on the Rogue One, helped rewrite write some of the scenes. Cassie Andor series. Um, there's some stuff going on with the Rogue One series, too. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. In August, we had all the scripts written. This was before The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and this is like, yeah, this is like last year. Yeah. Yeah, and then it just suddenly the scripts weren't good, and they were scrapping them all. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on with it, but it's stupid. <sighs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and they're keeping it under wraps because I think, you know, one, I don't know if they know what they're doing, and two, you know, if it came out what was actually going to happen, people would have a shit fit. Probably. Uh, for sure. But there we go, guys. Allegedly, possibly, maybe. Um, Obi's Angels. We're going to have a lot of women mm -hmm. in Obi-Wan. Which I, I don't care if there's characters that are female. If they're, if they're good characters that are just there because they're good characters and they have a good story and then they have a, a purpose, then, then I'm fine with it. But if it turns in, but by the, even by the casting, it, you can already tell what it's going to be. Because mm -hmm. they're deliberately, specifically, you have to not be white. Basically, for any of these roles other than Harold, the comic relief. <laughs> so basically, now it's, it, it's like all women that are white don't have a, you know, they're already, they're minority too, but doesn't matter. They're not allowed to be in these movies because we're going to keep the white character to the man. Yeah. Well, they don't even know. There's nothing, there's no gender, or, or there's no race associated with Harold. So Harold could be whatever he want, they want to hire him as. Quirky. Just a quirky comedic male doesn't matter what race Harold is. He might not even. Um, but all the female characters, uh, they can't be white women. Yeah. So it seems like the victims in all this are white women. The <laughs> ones who are screaming the most are the ones that are now going to be cut out of everything. You know, they hired a white woman and she was incredibly, incredibly problematic. Mm -hmm. So they've decided that they're not going to hire any more white women in Star Wars. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be a shit show. I, I don't have any hope. I mean, The Mandalorians, uh, I haven't even, I'll tell you the truth. I was pleasantly surprised last season, but I actually haven't mustered up enough give a shit yeah, to watch this it. season. Well, then it, it's also, guys, I got to tell you, it's also really flippant annoying whenever time a new episode comes or something new. I, oh, we, we didn't even get to tell them about the cookies. So the cookies, okay. First, we had the, the frog lady shirts. And now we have the cookies because apparently in the last episode he was eating. Baby Yoda was eating these cookies that look like macaroons, macarons, mac whatever you call them, um, macarons. And so now for the bargain price of fifty bucks a dozen, you can go buy these cookies, Navarro Nummies, at William, William Sonoma, and they're fifty flipping dollars for a dozen cookies. So. And it's trademarked, which means this had to be planned for months that they were going to do this. So every damn episode that comes out of The Mandalorian comes with a, a, a merch tie-in. It's getting flipping ridiculous. And that's why I'm, I'm like losing interest because it's like, I liked it. It was cute. But now you're losing me with all this, you know, every time you do anything. Oh, look, it might be quirky and cute. They might like it. So hurry up, put a price tag on it. And now it's just making me turned off because I'm like, I don't want, I don't, you're just milking Baby Yoda and it's getting ridiculous. You're, you're just you're just trying to make pennies of everything you can, and now it's just starting to become absolute. It's just absolute stu stupidity. I can't even think of words I'm talking about. Speaking of stupidity, but um, it's just I couldn't believe it. Fifty dollar fucking cookies. Sorry, mom. Uh, yeah, nobody wants to be turned on by uh, a baby eating cookies. No, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's like they're constantly shilling this shit, and it's like, what the hell? Well, this is Disney. This so, is how they do it. I don't want to even watch it now. I mean, I'm going to probably watch it eventually, but I just, I have, I have like you, I'm with you. I, I, I haven't got enough give a give a shit to watch it because I'm just like, I know it's going to constantly be some something leverage to try to get me to buy it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I, that. that's starting to get annoying. Because at least before it was like, you know, okay, you, you kind of didn't, like, you were hiding it a little bit. Now it's just so blatant and outright. It's just, I can't even stand it. It's like, really? And now we're, and I'm worried what they're going to do with Obi-Wan. I was excited about the, the Cassian Andor show, and now I'm afraid that's going to be a, a steaming pile of shit. Because they keep pushing certain things. And I'm like, I'm just, I'm just getting tired of it. I think everything Disney Star Wars at this point is ultimately going to turn into a steaming pile of shit. And they'll put a price well, tag on that shit. If you eat cookies, it'll eventually turn into a steaming pile of shit. Blue shit. For probably. 50 bucks. $50. You can, you can eat cookies and shit them out. And shit them out. And they'll probably be blue. I don't know. No, because usually you, no, it'll be green because if you eat blue things, it turns your poop green. So you can, you know, get your green I milk. I had the child. Get, get your green milk and your blue cookies and, you know. Jeez, what a... 
This is uh, you, did, uh, you didn't. I thought I told you about this. I didn't tell no, you about this. No, you did not tell Gosh, me about that. I, I would have remembered the ago, stupidity of this. Um, yeah. I, I don't know, guys. This is this is the utter state of Disney Star Wars. It's sad. It feels like it's the it's not just dead, but they're literally. It's, it's the place where they're just literally making stuff to to use it as as like you know, look how diverse we are, or buy our shit. That's what it is. It's one of those two things. And if they, I don't even care if you market things. I don't even care if you have a diverse cast. What I care about is I just want good stuff. But I am getting a little tired of have of the show of the constant, you know, buy this, buy this, buy. It is getting. It's starting to get a little old. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's like it's not just dead. They're they're selling off the organs. Uh, you know, yeah. the, too. It's just, it's, it's sad. They, this is Disney. They just kind of strip mine everything, and uh, try to get as much money out of things as they can. And Obi Wan's gonna be the same thing. You know, they're gonna have some breakout character. That they're gonna have merch ready to rock with it. Probably some doofy ass. Maybe Harold will be some doofy ass CG character or something. And no, I don't think so. I, I, who knows? Who knows? They cost money. Yeah, that's, it's more expensive to do that than it is to hire an actor. We'll get another cute puppet. You know. Now Carol's going to be a puppet. <laughs> hang out with Obi-Wan. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap this one yep. up. All right, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.